Right, what is going on guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to get Kerbal Space Program 2 on your Steam Deck today. And it's pretty easy really. But do be warned, it does not work very well and it crashes a lot. So yeah, be prepared for that. So, one thing you are going to need is, well, haven't tried it without a proper keyboard and mouse, but you will require a keyboard a wireless keyboard and mouse and a dock. I've just got a I've got a dock here with the wireless keyboard and mouse plugged into the back via USB. Um it might work with the tracking pad if we just take that off. Obviously you've got the tracking pad and you can open the keyboard like that, but obviously you can't play like that, so to be able to play it you're gonna need a keyboard and mouse anyway, so I've just got myself a cheap wireless keyboard mouse here. So let's just close this down and we'll um, we'll get to how it is done. So I'm not going to be able to stream from the Steam Deck itself. I'm going to have to do it sort of in this in this way. So apologies for that. I will zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what's going on on the screen. So once you've downloaded it. Obviously don't open it, it will not work yet. So you want to, uh, first of all, go into the Steam power menu and switch it to desktop mode. Right, so then you want to come to the KSP forums and you want to go to KSP2 mod releases. You will see the KSSL2 simple launcher bypass for, for uh, KSP2. You want to go to releases. Uh, click the KSSL2 version 1 zip and download that. I just download it into my download file. Then all you do, you open your Steam library, go to Kerbal Space Program 2, manage properties. While you're here, make sure compatibility is on. I'm just using Proton 7, as you can see there. Local files. Browse, which will open where your KSP is stored on your system. Mine is on an SD card. Probably is half the reason why it keeps crashing. You want to open the PD launcher, and then you want to go to your download folder, uh, find the zip file. There's the two files there. You go back to the launcher folder. Drag the two over, you will be asked to override, you just override the two, there we go. So that's it, that's finished, so you just close them all down. So there we go, just exit back out of desktop mode, into gear mode. Now if you press play, it should launch. So there we go, there's our space sending, you can see the GPU is working hard, it's at 99%. Uh, power. Um, I've had it crash on this screen before but hopefully I've switched to the VAB and sometimes it's crashed. There was one time I actually got into the VAB so let's see if it does it this time. Oh we're actually in, there we go. So we can build a rocket here, let's just build something basic and see if it works. We'll just put fuel tank on small fuel tank and we'll just put a small rocket engine, what is that? is that a rocket engine? apparently it is so let's <laughs> actually let's not use that one let's go with one of them so we know it's going to work Let's go launch and see if it actually see if it actually lets us launch this thing. Oh my god, it actually loaded in for the first time. We have one FPS. We what is actually GPU is only 18%, CPU 27, but RAM is maxing out at 13 gigabytes. So on the Steam Deck, it seems like the RAM's bottlenecking quite a bit. Oh dear. Hmm. 
yeah, it's not going to last long at 1 FPS. But there we go. So hopefully once, you know, the game's a little bit more optimised, it can work on Steam Deck. And that's how it's done. So thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like, subscribe, and if this is helpful, comment down below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.